happened yet. And I'm very curious to know because I'm feeling a change in my own body. Dr. Kerr, tell us what happens to our body when we fast. Um, so that's a very good question. So initially, when we first met last week, so fasting, uh, your body enters a state of fasting roughly eight hours after your last meal. So by the time most of us have woken up, and initially in the first few days, we start to use the you know the food that we've been eating. So normally, when you take a meal, your gut utilizes it and makes it into sugar, and we use that energy. And this is a time in the first few days where we experience headaches, sort of anger, sort of the low mood, the lack of energy. And then your body enters a state where it starts using the fat that we've been storing up for, you know, years and years. And it starts breaking that as an energy source. And what that does is it's got twofold. So one of the benefits of that is, do you know, can you guess if we're breaking down fat, what one of the benefits? Weight losing weight? Yeah, exactly. So... I don't have to go to the gym. You keep talking. I like this. <laughs> so one of the, yeah, you don't have to go to the gym, yeah. um, but you do need to do some exercise. Um, it can be at home. Um, so yeah, weight loss is one of them, and yeah. the other benefits is it lowers your blood pressure, and it also releases something called endorphins. Uh, do you guys know what in, endorphins are? Good hormones. Yeah, so they're the yeah. hormones that make you feel happy. So I don't know if you felt it, but usually what happens in the first couple of days of fasting, we experience a really low point where we're like hungry, we're miserable, we're angry yep. usually, <laughs> hangry as you put it earlier. Yep. And then you feel lifted, don't you? You feel like, actually, I've got this, I can move on. Um, you, you have yeah. better energy levels, you have better concentration levels and it's one of the mercies of Allah that we have this inbuilt mechanism of doing that and that's because your body has realized that actually this is the hours I'm going to eat in mm. and now I need to generate my own energy and it does that by breaking down the fat um, in in your in your body and if we were prolonged fasting yeah. for example if we weren't having suhoor and iftar we would start breaking down our muscles but because we replenish our bodies right, we right. don't do that um, and so you know low, low weight loss low blood pressure it lowers your cholesterol levels so um, it's always good for those members of the public that suffer from heart disease um, yeah. so these are just some of the benefits um, but I suppose of fasting. working in tandem with that we need to think about what we're consuming as well I'd absolutely imagine. because I mean whilst we're burning all the fats if we're just replenishing it with more fatty food or, yes. or loads of carbs, I imagine, that, that probably wouldn't yeah, help us. Absolutely. Yeah. So like I said last week, it's about eating smart in Ramadan. So, yeah. yeah, by all means have carbs, but substitute your refined carbs for wholesome, good carbs. So instead of having white rice, have try having brown rice, have right. you know, wholesome bread instead of the cardboard is what I call white bread. <laughs> the white bread, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I concur. <laughs> yeah, you, can get the, you can get the best of both now, the 50-50. Is that yeah. any good? Uh, um, no. No? no. Okay, never mind. Never mind. You know, I've, Honestly, I, the best thing I ever bought, right, I went to, um, years ago I was in the Lake District and we, I stayed at this lady's house, it's like a cottage, and she had a bread maker. And I woke up to the nicest smell. Have you guys ever smelt bread first thing in the morning? It's amazing. Yeah. And I bought myself a Panasonic bread maker. It was about eighty pounds, and I haven't bought a. You know, I hardly ever buy store bought bread. Eighty anymore. pounds. Eighty for a bread pounds, maker. and I've been using it for five years. I get two loaves for a pound. I think you've you. just about broken even on it. No, okay. <laughs> because yeah. But what, but what have like I gained in my 10p, health? Ten p is it not? This is true. Yeah, no, yeah. Love of bread. I don't know about 10p, but I don't know why you're P? buying your bread. 10p. I'm, I'm, is, is this my David Cameron moment where I've completely got it wrong? <laughs> 10p for a loaf of bread. <laughs> I want to go shopping where you shop. <laughs> The this pound is shop, happens. no? Is that not what you get? No. This How much is a loaf of bread? Uh, uh, between a 50p and, and a pound. What? Oh, is it? Yeah, 50p. 75 to, to a pound. Definitely. Shake buys nice bread, though. Shake yeah. goes so to the upmarket. So is this 10p that I keep hearing about? Is good. That must be the white bread. That's been the white bread. I've heard great things about sourdough bread as well. Is that Yeah, sourdough bread is good. So what it is, is a low glycemic bread and it just keeps you fuller for longer. So that's what you mean. I'm so glad to hear that you're getting smarter about Ramadan already. So it's about making the right choices and like you said, replenishing with the right food so instead of having a fatty full-on white carb meal yeah. make healthier choices and you know I don't know if you've been do you guys follow diet trends like no. the two five and things like yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what do you know about the two five? Like you have to do something for five days and something for two days. I <laughs> yeah. don't know what the difference is. But you don't eat for five or is it the other way around? The other don't way around. Two. So don't essentially one of the biggest diet trends that have come around is called intermittent fasting yeah. or it's called the five two trend where you eat for five days like you would normally and two days you allow yourself only 500 calories. Yeah. And if you think about the logic behind that, our deen has given us that, hasn't it already? The prophet mm. fasted two days a week on Mondays and Thursdays yeah. and now we just can't matching up with the science behind yeah. that and yeah. it's so nice that alhamdulillah our deen has given us so much in the way of health and how much of it do we actually utilize we've got the 5-2 diet you know we have the don't eat 
eat until you're just hungry. Like I think you hit the nail there because one, one's about replenishing the stomach yes. and the, have the right kind of <coughs> things in our food, but there's another thing about replenishing the soul. And share, you know, yes, this the, is probably the, the time to the do that, right? The important thing is the time, the time for the fasting. I, I, in my khutbahs, any time I, I, I say to my, to the, to the audience, to the brothers and sisters. This is a time not for eating, it is for a fasting because unfortunately many of us in the Soho, they eat so much. But I have got for mm. two days they eating until when the iftar come, still they are not hungry. And this is damaging, yeah. really this is damaging. I thought, of course, I was myself what I do, is I say if I, during the day, usually I have a two apple, this month of Ramadan, I have one because this is a spirit of the Ramadan is mm. for a holding the fast and for the just forgiveness and not just for the eating, eating, eating. Uh, I think the, uh, some sisters have a two or three trolley in the Tesco. They take yeah. it. I say, well, sister, why are you taking this? It's, it's, oh, it's a fasting. I said fasting is not for eating. Therefore, what we need to do, we need to more instead of the concentrating on the Rahman. Concent is it 10 days in which we have is it we should not let that 10 days go concentrate on rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we get it in this and I guess the key thing is we've got to find ways to engage the children as well right and I mean, what, what, what kind of things can we do to uh, of course uh, there, I was to, today I was talking with the, in the one, one of the school with the, with, the, with the children and they they love to do with the mothers and the father but the children I tell them of course is in the school I tell them they hold it only two hours mm -hmm. and I, I, they came to me and the three three children came to be the mother. He said, "What shall we do? They want to fast. What shall we?" Do? I said, "Okay, how old are you?" He said, "I am I'm, I'm, uh, eleven. I said, "Okay, uh, you should do for uh, three hours a day." And another one said, "I am thirteen. I said, "You should hold it." And another one was, uh, um, "But." Four years old. I said, you should get half an hour a day. I said, yes, 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 yes. And that was, that was good, you know. Yeah. Half an hour they can survive. <laughs> this is a way which encouraging the children, yeah. which when, when, the, when, the, when the age comes, they are so happy because they are part of it. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? They say, we hold fast, we hold fast, the little children. And this is a spirit of the Ram, uh, Ramadan and the spirit of the of course, the, 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 the time. Therefore, what we need to do, especially in 10 days, all has to cling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to forgive us and uh, to show his rahmah, to open the door of the, uh, uh, door of the paradise. As they say in the month of Ramadan, Absolutely. the paradise door is open and, and the, the, the devil has been chained. And that's true. Devil inside, chain devil inside of you. is mm. not a chain outside by the nightclub has been chained or whatever. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I the like people, that. The people, I've, <laughs> I've never had it been put in that context. <laughs> Yeah, the people going there, brilliant. but no chain, the 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 chain, chain inside of you. Yeah. Open the open the door of paradise in your soul, yeah. in your in your way, in the month of Ramadan for yourself, and yeah. chain all the bad things which you're doing. That means chain the devil. You know, metaphorically, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said it was metaphorically at that time, yeah. he said, "O oh, door open, and uh, they've been chained." Of course, uh, again, I said that there are not. Gives me an idea for the app. We yes. could have. A a chain <coughs> and have like say maybe not a nightclub <laughs> <laughs> I don't know would it be a case of because that, that was the bucket can, going up the, yeah, having yeah. the chain in there or something you know, yeah. the, 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 slowly like, tying like, up yeah, that one these, yeah, the <laughs> these are the these are the things which we inshallah we have to do and I am sure you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is so great but she says go to heaven uh, and it says Oh Allah, can you give me three bedroom house? He says, have a four. <laughs> <laughs> and you believe me, you find this so beautiful. And yeah. inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take us all to the paradise as a bunch of flowers. Keep us all together as a Absolutely. beautiful bunch of flowers. In this world, inshallah, give us a rahmah, give us a mercy, a long life. A long life and, and the health and the wealth which we can spend for Absolutely. for the sake of Allah Absolutely. and on the on the on the um, uh, on the akhira, uh, inshallah paradise and resurrect us perhaps uh, the all the ladies want to be resurrected by the by the by the uh, um, um, uh, Aisha radiallahu anha. anybody I said he says I love to see it and I love to see the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he give him a cuddle. Absolutely. I said, oh, you are so great. <laughs> And he, 
this this is a way in which we do Absolutely. and this is Islam. Absolutely. It's been a great show today. It's and been really thank fun. you to all of our guests yeah. and for, for enlightening stories and great products and great reminders. Yes, and health tips as and well. And health of course. tips as well. But Absolutely. sad from all of us here. Assalamu alaikum.